Сожгли торнадо. И рэпы все, он стоит, решетки не помогло. Former President of the Russian Federation, Dmitry Medvedev, publicly admitted that the Telegram Messenger is one of the tools in the information war against Ukraine. Telegram is used by Moscow to spread Russian propaganda among Ukrainians. Medvedev no longer hides that the Messenger is a tool of influence for Putin's team. Despite its shortcomings, Telegram enables the authorities of Ukraine to convey the truth to people in the temporarily occupied territories. According to Putin's henchman, using a messenger created by Russian programmer Pavlo Durov, the authorities deliver their materials to the average Ukrainian. This is de facto Medvedev officially confirming that with the help of Telegram, the Kremlin spreads Russian propaganda among Ukrainians, according to online Ukrainian media outlet. In addition, he began to justify that the presence of criminal activity in Telegram does not mean that it was approved by the founder of the messenger, Pavel Durov. According to the former president of the Russian Federation, the Telegram Messenger is used by a large number of Russians, in particular in the war zone. Telegram is used as a messenger by a huge number of our people, including those who are on the front line. And our enemy has repeatedly said that they cannot control it. And the materials that we publish in Telegram reach the perception of the average Ukrainian. And he also begins to have mental processes that are somewhat different from what is shown on TV. Therefore, it is clearly a political story, and it is necessary to deal with it, Medvedev said. Interestingly, against the backdrop of recent events, Medvedev also began to publicly demand that the official Paris detain Facebook founder Mark Zuckerberg as well, and not just the Russian Pavel Durov. According to the head of Ukrainian intelligence, Kirill Budanov, the Telegram messenger, is a serious problem for the national security of Ukraine. That is, in our country, any person can create a channel, start writing whatever he wants on it, and when they start doing something, cover up that this is media freedom. But this is not media freedom. It is called a little differently, he said. Despite loud statements about support for Ukraine, the new UK government is in practice less decisive on this issue than its predecessor writes the British newspaper The Telegraph. As the publication notes, since taking office, Keir Starmer's government has done everything possible to create the impression that support for Ukraine will remain at the same level as it was. However, the latest statements by the Ukrainian president with undisguised reproach towards London indicates that Kyiv is alarmed by the passivity of the British government. In particular, Zelensky is disappointed that the British Prime Minister did not give Ukraine the go-ahead to use long-range storm shadow missiles to strike military targets deep inside Russian territory. This issue has become particularly acute in the context of the ongoing Ukrainian Armed Forces operation in the Kursk region. Worry about provoking a wider conflict between Russia and the West is a perennial feature of the willingness of many Western leaders to give Ukraine the weapons it needs to achieve victory. This is especially true in Washington, where the Biden administration's obsession with not provoking Putin into further acts of aggression in Europe has significantly hampered Western support for the Ukrainian cause, the Telegraph writes. 
The author of the publication notes that the United Kingdom is allegedly ready to give the Ukrainian military permission to freely use Storm Shadow missiles. But the problem is that their use will be carried out together with US military systems, meaning that the Americans will have the final say on whether they can be used against targets in Russia. And as long as the Biden administration remains in power, permission for such strikes is unlikely, the publication notes. Keir Starmer himself avoids answering directly whether it is Washington that is restricting the use of Storm Shadow. However, according to the author of the article, if Starmer really wanted to give Ukraine freedom to use Storm Shadow, his government would have lobbied Washington for this issue. However, it seems that under the new British Prime Minister, effective management of the Ukrainian issue is no longer one of our government's top priorities, the Telegraph notes. Recall Volodymyr Zelensky in another video address openly reproached Great Britain for losing its leadership in matters of support for Ukraine. Throughout this war, we have seen that Great Britain has demonstrated real leadership in weapons, in politics and in supporting the life of Ukrainian society. This is what has saved thousands of our people. This is what truly matches the strength of Britain. But now, unfortunately, the situation has slowed down. The president said. Zelensky assured that Ukraine will try to talk with partners to fix this. 